very good morning i am uh, dr s m mohan krishna associate professor in the department of mechanical engineering vidyavardhaka college of engineering mysore i was delivering lecture videos concerning with one of the hot favorites in elements of mechanical engineering internal combustion engines followed by refrigeration and air conditioning earlier in my two lecture videos i could cover the introductory aspects of internal combustion engines followed by mechanism of four stroke internal combustion engines in the previous lecture video i could cover the mechanism of four stroke petrol engine followed by four stroke diesel engine in a minute or two let me quickly glance the information whatever we have covered in the previous sessions initially one could clearly understand the definition of an engine later the distinction between internal combustion engines and external combustion engines later we could uh, concentrate on the classification of internal combustion engines we have a variety based on each and every specification we will be in a position to classify engines later we could uh, cover the technical terms associated with internal combustion engines on learning these introductory topics we could learn the mechanism of four stroke petrol engine followed by diesel engine some of the salient points what we can remember in four stroke engines are usually the thermal efficiency of diesel engine will be more than that of petrol engine as everyone is aware of the reason the main parameter that influences the computation of thermal efficiency is compression ratio in a case of diesel engine the compression ratio ranges from 14 to 22 but in the case of petrol engine it ranges from 4 to 12 maximum 13 since the magnitude of compression ratio is higher the value of thermal efficiency unquestionably increases for this reason the thermal efficiency of diesel engine will be more than petrol engine petrol engine works on the principle of theoretical auto cycle whereas the mechanism of four stroke diesel engine depends on theoretical diesel cycle so auto cycle named after nicholas augustus auto then a diesel cycle or diesel engine named after rudolf christian karl diesel in addition to this the various thermodynamic aspects we could learn in case of petrol engine combustion phenomenon takes place at constant volume process but in case of diesel engine combustion takes place at constant pressure process in a petrol engine at the top of the engine cylinder we find the positioning of spark plug but in case of diesel engine we do not have a spark plug instead the injection of diesel shall be done by an atomizer or a fuel injector please remember in case of petrol engine we find spark plug carburetor and fuel pump but in the case of diesel engine we find an atomizer or fuel injector next we find fuel pump on noting these salient points one can clearly have a comparison between four stroke petrol and diesel engines but in this lecture video i am very much privileged happy to share information pertaining to two stroke petrol and diesel engines exclusively in this video we will be concentrating on 
two stroke engines earlier we could gather information pertaining to four stroke engines now we shall see whether these two stroke engines are favorable what exactly the mechanism of this what will be the differences between two stroke and four stroke engines so that we will get a comprehensive idea about the theoretical aspects of internal combustion engines dear friends you all know that in the present scenario we are mainly concentrating on four stroke engines in the current engine technology even we have six stroke engine even though that is in the embryonic stage we don't know in future how six stroke engines will dominate four stroke engines since we have four and six stroke engines unquestionably we do not strongly emphasize on two stroke engines earlier two stroke engines were dominating way back in the 1960s 70s the end engine technology was not in a very effervescent way two stroke engines were highly dominating later after 1980 1990s four stroke engines started dominating but presently undeniably wherever we go whatever we do we find the importance or relevance on particularly four stroke engines but without having a theoretical idea regarding two stroke engines there is no point in knowing about four stroke and six stroke engines what are these two stroke engines how normally they work what are all the advantages and disadvantages we have how can we make the comparative study these points i am willing to share in this particular lecture video when you see to this particular slide we will get the idea regarding two stroke engine but one will question when we see to these sketches we will get the idea concerning with four stroke engines earlier we could learn the mechanism of four stroke petrol and diesel engines in both engines we could come across four prominent strokes namely suction compression expansion and exhaust clearly it was depicted as a four stroke internal combustion engine irrespective of the use of fuel whether it is petrol or diesel four strokes were executed comprehensively but here if this is a two stroke petrol or diesel engine what two strokes have to be executed what is the technological relevance of this those points we have to agglomerate the concept of four stroke petrol engine was conceptualized or conceived by nicholas augusto sato in 1876 whereas the idea of four stroke diesel engine was developed or formulated by rudolf christian carl diesel in 1884 as earlier said series of trials were done in developing four stroke petrol engine by diesel starting from 1884 to 1887 till 1897 he could develop but now in the case of two stroke petrol engine what two important strokes are executed this idea was promulgated or formulated by sir dugald clerk he could observe that in the mechanism of two stroke petrol engine or two stroke diesel engine two prominent strokes have been executed what two prominent strokes earlier in four stroke petrol engine we had suction compression working and finally exhaust stroke but here what two strokes are to be considered but what two strokes are eliminated please remember 
the engine nomenclature remains almost the same when compared to four stroke petrol engine but when we see to the mechanism or the schematic clearly we can make out that a1 do spark plug is incorporated at the top of the engine cylinder we do not consider we do not consider mechanically operated valves namely inlet and exhaust valve then what in place of mechanically operated valves what has to be used friends we will be using something called ports inlet port and exhaust port so they are to be incorporated in case of two stroke petrol and diesel engines so this is the first salient aspect what an individual has to learn in case of four stroke engines we will be using mechanically operated valves namely inlet and exhaust but here we will be using inlet and exhaust ports in addition to this suction and exhaust strokes are eliminated the two prominent strokes that we normally consider in understanding the mechanism of two stroke petrol and diesel engines are one is the compression stroke the other is the working or expansion stroke we do not emphasize on suction and exhaust strokes even though suction and exhaust they are important in case of engines learning the mechanism of engines we do not point out these two strokes they are satiated with compression and expansion stroke that is why since two strokes are very predominantly emphasized we normally call this as two stroke engines irrespective of the fuel what we use petrol or diesel two strokes have been incorporated or executed the rest of the things more or less the same when compared to four stroke engines we will be using ports inlet and exhaust ports will be using normally when we consider a two stroke petrol engine when we compare the same with four stroke petrol engine in case of four stroke petrol engine during suction stroke both air and petrol are simultaneously admitted into the engine cylinder but when we see to the schematic with a reference to two stroke petrol engine normally direct injection of air and petrol will not take place into engine cylinder initially it gets admitted in the hermetically sealed crank case and later it shall be delivered to engine cylinder this is what we need to clearly understand while getting the idea pertaining to the mechanism of two stroke petrol engines in the schematic clearly the interpretation have been made the alphabets a and b marks the beginning of the first stroke and uh, alphabet b designates piston uncovering transfer transfer port during the first stroke but when we see to the alphabets c and d transfer port clearly covered and finally d emphasizes compression commenced when we clearly make out these schematics we will get to know that very comprehensively compression and uh, working strokes have been executed ultimately on uh, executing both strokes the exhaust gases will be sent to the surroundings or dissipated to the surroundings thereby we call the process as scavenging that is why normally we calculate scavenging efficiency in uh, reference to two stroke engines so these are all the salient points what one has to know in connection with two stroke petrol engine 
when we take the reference of two stroke diesel engine no doubt fuel injector shall be used or an atomizer is employed which will be responsible for injecting diesel into the engine cylinder normally diesel engines are referred to as compression ignition engines we give emphasis for the range of compression ratio even here in a two stroke diesel engine we emphasize on two prominent strokes namely compression and working so this information will really help in knowing the importance of two stroke engines but ultimately on understanding the concepts pertaining to four stroke and two stroke engines we will have a question how we can make a comparative study between four stroke and two stroke engines which will be advantages which will dominate the other those points we have to discuss on knowing the mechanism of four stroke engines and two stroke engines some of the thermodynamic aspects what we can strongly emphasize are number 1 the number of strokes per cycle that is the first particular what we can take up when we take up the reference of four stroke engines four separate strokes four independent strokes will be executed but we take up two stroke engines as said clearly as clearly accentuated two strokes will be comprehensively executed how can we understand this better the next attribute what we can take up is number of cycles per minute the number of cycles per minute in case of four stroke engines it will be depicted or given the nomenclature small n is equal to half the engine speed capital n by 2 small n is the number of cycles per minute but capital n designates the magnitude of engine speed in rpm but when we take the reference of two stroke engine the number of cycles executed per minute small n will be exactly equal to engine speed capital n when we take the reference of power for a four stroke engines power will be developed in every alternate revolution of the crankshaft please remember it is developed in every alternate revolution of the crankshaft but when we take the reference of two stroke engines power is developed in every revolution of the crankshaft four stroke every alternate revolution but in case of two stroke it is every revolution then consideration of flywheel you all know that flywheel has to be encumbered has to be considered with reference to four stroke and two stroke engines but normally in case of four stroke engines we take or we consider heavier flywheel the engine because of the continuous operation of engine torque fluctuations will be severe that's why in four stroke engine we normally consider heavier flywheel but in case of two stroke engines lighter flywheel is required then we take up admission of the charge when we consider four stroke engines the charge is directly admitted into the engine cylinder during the suction stroke but when we take the reference of two stroke engines the charge is first admitted into the hermetically sealed crank case and then transferred to the engine cylinder next when we take the reference of exhaust gases in four stroke engines the exhaust gases are driven out through the outlet by piston during the exhaust stroke 
But when we take the reference of two stroke engines, the exhaust gases will be expelled out or banished out of the cylinder by scavenging operation by the incoming fresh air. I clearly emphasized the process of scavenging. This will appear in the case of two stroke engines. Then when we take the reference of valves, in case of four stroke engines, we normally consider mechanically operated valves. But when we take up two stroke engines, we consider ports. We have inlet port, transfer port and exhaust port. Then the crankcase. Normally in case of four stroke engines, although the crankcase of a four stroke engine is closed, it will not be hermetically sealed. But when we refer to two-stroke engines, the charge is admitted into the crankcase since it is hermetically sealed. Please remember, in four-stroke engines, normally crankcase shall not be hermetically sealed. But in case of two-stroke engines, that shall be mandatory. Then when we take the reference of direction of rotation of the crankshaft, Four stroke engines, the crankshaft rotates only in single direction, only direction we prefer. But when we take the reference of two stroke engines, the crankshaft can rotate in either directions. That is a very salient point what we have to be clearly aware of. Next, the consumption of lubricating oil. In four stroke engine, that is less. But in case of two-stroke engine, it will be more. Even when we take the reference of fuel consumption, the same attribute. Then when we come to thermal efficiency, thermal efficiency of four-stroke engines will be unquestionably high when compared to two-stroke engines. This is the only point required or essential to prove that four-stroke engines have higher capability, potency when compared to two-stroke engines. But remember, the mechanical efficiency of four-stroke engines will be low when compared to two-stroke engines. Then ultimately, when we take the reference of noise, in four-stroke engines, since the exhaust takes place gradually during the exhaust stroke, the noise will be less. But in case of two-stroke engines, no doubt, the noise level will be high. In turn, the induction of mechanical vibrations will be severe. Based on these salient points, on knowing the comparison between four-stroke and diesel, four-stroke petrol engine or four-stroke diesel engine with a connection to two-stroke engines, we can prove that Four-stroke engines are very powerful, more efficient when compared to two-stroke engines. But as a matter of fact, we should be in a position to know the theoretical description of two-stroke engines along with four-stroke engines. So friends, in the three lecture videos, whatever being covered, initially we could learn the theoretical aspects pertaining to engines. Next, we could uh, cover the information pertaining to four-stroke engines, where exclusively a lecture video has been dedicated. But in the third lecture video, which has been recorded by me, this video clearly refers to the mechanism, the importance, application and the comparison between two-stroke engines and four-stroke engines. Initially, we could cover the theoretical description or the thermodynamic aspects of both two-stroke petrol and diesel engines. Later, at the end, we could cover the comparison of both four-stroke and two-stroke engines. When we know the comparison between the both, we can clearly substantiate that, we can clearly justify that four-stroke engines are more efficient when 
compared to two stroke engines this is what i was willing to cover in this lecture video in the next lecture video i will be good enough to cover the problems the numerical problems concerning with internal combustion engines thank you thank you very much